Tell me where the cash at Man, the city has been getting rain and just like the shittiest weather for at least like the last two days. Pretty much gray skies, complete opposite of what it usually is here. I feel like it's making it so much harder to get content for me, for everybody else's vlogs. I feel like drone shots and all that B-roll and stuff. Only October 1st and it's six degrees outside. Well, 6.5 degrees Celsius, which is like crazy to me. I'm thinking we're gonna get an early winter here this year, which kind of sucks because that means I have to raise my car and get winter tires for this car. And that's probably Probably gonna cost about 600 bucks maybe seven all around so i am not not excited about that perks of living in canada man i'm about to go in right now smash a workout with my boy brayden we're gonna do a pool day today i'm gonna kind of switch it up from my usual pool day throw in some drop sets kind of inspired by jeff and mountain dolls workouts but i just want to like up the intensity today i'm gonna go through the entire workout with you guys when i finish it and i get home it's like my favorite day so if it's not too busy i'm gonna try and get all the clips i can and take you guys through it i think it should be a good one <laughs> So to run you guys through this back and bicep workout, which was a really, really fun workout, by the way. Appreciate my boy Braden for going through it with me, helping me get these clips. To get the gist of a workout, it was a normal pool day, but I actually switched it up from anything I've ever really done. I actually added a drop set on the end of every exercise that I did, except the first exercise because it was pull-ups. We did four sets of 12 on everything except the pull-ups. With pull-ups, we did a four by six to eight. My main focus on this was to get the contraction at the top and not use too much momentum to get my body up. So knock that out. And then we moved on to a hammer strength row i actually love this machine usually most gyms will have some type of row that is like this but this one specifically i love this machine in our gym i've been using it for like the last year i don't know just the way your body is positioned you get that full contraction on the lats stretching your arms all the way out and that nice squeeze at the end of the movement so four sets of 12 and then we knocked out that drop set at the end and by the time we got to that drop set at the end it was killer next thing we moved on to was the smith machine shrug and we did the same thing here four sets of 12 with the drop Drop set at the end on that last set of 12 will actually cut the weight by 20 pounds and we'll do another 12 reps and that should be like your burnout it should be like super hard to do those last 12. if it's not hard on those last 12 reps that means your first four sets were probably a joke and you're using too light of weight for that last drop set so those last drop sets should feel like you really can't do them but mentally you gotta push through the next thing we moved on to was our bicep movements and we started out with a hammer strength machine curl i actually love this machine my weight is super high for 12 reps I think when I do it for six, I'm pretty much maxing out the entire thing for a couple sets. So adding in this drop set at the end of this just completely changes the game because once I get to that last set, I'm I'm pretty tapped out. So like I said, that mental grind at the end to get that done. Then we moved on to a hammer curl. Sometimes I F up this cue, but I try not to get too much swing in the body. But the main thing I focus on is really extending my arm all the way and then coming up and really curling at the top. I'm not saying you have to squeeze too, too long at the top, but just make sure you're feeling the squeeze at the top and you fill in the extension at the bottom of the movement. And I promise you, by the time you get to the drop set on knees, you'll be you'll be dead. So that was the workout. It was actually a quicker workout. We probably got this done in like an hour and 10, hour and 20 minutes. It is always nice working out with someone else. Having him over my shoulder, I feel like I got to give him my all. And me being over his shoulder, telling him, yo, you got this extra last rep. It just makes us both grind that much harder. I just got some packages in the mail. I'm pretty sure these are Patty Lifts packages. I'm going to open up this one, but I think he wants to keep this a secret for a while. So I'm not going to open this one up on the channel. If you don't know, or if you don't follow Patty's channel, which you should be, I am working with him on his this new brand he's got two kind of lines coming out one is going to be more of like a streetwear line limitless and the other one is going to be the team lifts official merch these are going to be some samples for the brand i have been getting all the samples coming through working with the suppliers that i already work with with kosher and just like helping kind of connect them too and honestly we've been doing this for like two months it's been like a super long process anyone who is a part of the industry in the business of like clothing or just having a supplier overseas when it comes to sampling when it comes to getting things right you guys probably already know how long and how much money it can really take to get everything perfect and get it all going. I'm pretty sure these are the hats. This is the first time we've seen these products. So, hoping that this is all good. Ooh, the 
limitless trucker hats. Hope you guys can kind of see that right there. Quality on this is actually crazy. Check out that detail. It's got a limitless tag on the back there. This is actually looking so good. One thing I do like about this company's dad hats is their brim is slightly more curved. Super, super good quality on this. I'm so happy for him and I'm so happy for myself because this is actually the supplier I'm going to use for our next kosher launch. So pretty sure I already know what this is. This is still in the works and I don't know if he wants to unveil this yet. But I'm probably going to head to his place right now. We're going to start going over all the sizing and stuff like that. Let me know in the DMs if you guys do try out this pool day workout. If you have more time, I would probably recommend adding in another back movement and do a drop set on that too. You probably can't do this like every other day, but once in a while it's nice to have a gritty workout where you just go in pretty much to failure on a lot of things. So I'm going to end the video right here. If you're new, join the crew, subscribe to the channel, leave this video a like before you leave. I'm going to catch you guys in the next video. Personal over, yeah. Flipping it, I got it, yeah. Then I get back on the road.